Sequels tend to either reinvent themselves or double down on what made the first in the series work, and Heroes of Loot 2 leans heavily into the latter. In many ways, the game plays a lot like the first one, but this time the graphics are more detailed, there's more variety in enemy and dungeon design, and even the vendors offer two items instead of one. Sadly, Heroes of Loot 2 suffers from a serious bug that might be a real issue for some players. I experienced several crashes to the Atari OS home screen while trying to buy items from vendors. Thankfully, you can re-enter the game and continue at the same level you crashed in, but the game's bugginess is an issue. However, the game itself continues the first game's strengths, the biggest being that it's a gauntlet-like on the VCS, which is a style of top-down dungeon crawling that had been lacking on the VCS until these two games hit the store. Heroes of Loot 2 also offers character classes with different weapon styles and a bunch of puzzle-like and sometimes item-based secrets throughout. Like the first game, there are secret rooms, but this time you can see them more easily with a graphical effect. There are also boss fights, which can be unforgiving for the wrong fighter, and some truly challenging fire and spike traps you need to get through. You'll pick one class that attacks from range and a second that does melee, and I ended up using my melee attacks for the most part, unless I needed to switch to range for specific enemies. Melee just hits harder and does more damage. You will also switch characters to manage your inventory, since you can only carry a few items in each character and you'll need the space for potions, runes, keys, and other artifacts. There are unlocks throughout the game that eventually let you play different characters and unlock special abilities, including the ability to revive once dead. Orange Pixel is one of the most prolific developers releasing games on the VCS, and Heroes of Loot 2 takes what makes the first game fun and doubles down on it, often literally. The first Heroes of Loot released in 2013 and Heroes of Loot 2 originally released in 2016, so you've had places to play these games for years. This is Orange Pixel continuing to bring his catalog to the VCS. Due to its crashing issues, you might want to check out the first Heroes of Loot instead, but it's also possible the game's crashing bugs will get fixed in the future. Overall, I found the game solidly okay, but perhaps you'll get more out of it than I did, and the game does offer a lot more variety and complexity than the first. Thanks for watching. Worth noting, Orange Pixel is currently working on Heroes of Loot 3, which seems likely to come to the VCS. I'll have more reviews in the coming weeks as the VCS is on pace to have one of its busiest release years yet. Liking helps spread the word about the channel, and subscribing gets these videos in your feed. Have fun!